No more sex bullying. We're back. I want to focus in on a subject I brought up in the last broadcast called sneaking. The whole place is doing it. And <clears throat> it starts when each one of us are very, very small. I'm not sure what provokes it. It's not nature. I don't believe that. I, I think on however you treat that human being, does it ever have to sneak on you? Why, did, why do your children have to sneak on you? The explanation <clears throat> to them and the accusation to them, really, <clears throat> what would provoke that is that you snuck on them when you brought them completely out of time to their best interest. You snuck as parents. You had an orgasm. You had no business doing it. It's out of time for them to arrive. You snuck. So it's natural for them to mimic you. And then what I'm reminding you of then, what you do is you accuse them in your process of weaning these new ones that you bring them, sneak, sneaking. Your explanation is an accusation. And sooner or later, they will sneak on that accusation. Mm -hmm. What do you think of that? Normal with stock spoiling, bare bones broadcasting. What when the timing changes of the human being and the explanation talks up instead of down and admits that it made a mistake by bringing them? Scratch, scratch, scratch. <laughs> fungus. You think fungus is trying to interfere in these broadcasts? Huh? Does fungus like humans understand they're caught up in sneaking and have to rid themselves of it? And can? It's only a technique, boomeranging and reflecting. And they're bending over a lot of wonderful aspects about themselves to fool around with a few problems. And it's their absence of honesty and generosity causing problems here more than their presence of any terrorism at all. They have absent problems in living, not present problems at all. They need to work on what they're absent, lovely things about themselves. Mm -hmm. And nurture that about themselves, especially with the youth. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about spoiling them rotten. I'm talking about really causing so much contribution and duty to all that see you keep up. I'm talking about challenging your children accurately. And let's see you keep up. That's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. More responsibility than you've ever taken. Let's see you can do it. Because I'll tell you, they can do it. Mm -hmm. They're human beings. I, I witness them. They're astoundingly priceless. Not just because of their genuineness, because of their usableness and their trainableness. All of it. Exciting. And it has consistency headed this way. Future's schmoocher. Future's a word for a vagrant sitting in a tent. They do. No more sex, balding, bare broadcasting. I shall return. <laughs>